I was ready to take on my uncompleted childhood dream. To catch all the original Pokemon cards, then flip them to make a killing. My name is Kevin Atlas. I lost my hand at birth, classic times. Hello, my name is Kevin Atlas and I did something spectacular during COVID. I collected all the original Pokemon cards without my wife knowing. Pretty classic move if you ask me. And I filmed a documentary about it, something that I'm not aware that anyone's ever done for some reason. Both dark and comedic, it opens up an opportunity for me to potentially be the next Tiger King, which I'm not mad about. Uh, but I call it Catch Em All. Pretty original. So I pieced together the original collections that came out in 1999, the Jungle, Fossil, and Base. All of the cards, 231 first edition cards that are all graded 9s and 10s with PSA, Mint or Gem Mint Shape. Super awesome collection. But I had to do a lot of things to earn the money for it. Even lost an arm. Anyway, it's time for me to flip the cards and I gave them to Golden Auctions. They're currently on their auction right now. Auction lot 139, 156, and 157. Here's the thing. I sent the teaser to my documentary to Golden Auctions and they said it was the funniest thing they've ever seen ever in their whole lives. So they asked if they could share it. And I said, well, my wife doesn't know about any of this, so if she finds out uh, that I spent my son's college fund on Pokemon cards, she might kill me, minimally divorce me, so we should probably not share it with anybody. And then Golden Auction replied, we are Golden Auction. We're the best in the world, like DJ Khaled. I mean, this is the Catalina wine mixer of auctions. eBay can suck it. And I replied, I don't think that's relevant to what we were talking about, but it was very persuasive. So let's do it. Here is the first six minutes of Catch em All, a documentary that isn't finished or released, promoting the cards that I'm trying to flip to save my marriage. Enjoy. Chin down. Chin up a little bit. Perfect. Tilt your head. Be a sexy ass kitchen. How do I do that? Closer to me. Dude, why am I in a raptor? This doesn't make sense. Don't ask questions. Just put the Pokeball in your mouth. Since I'm all about first impressions, let me give you some context. My name is Kevin Atlas. I lost my hand at birth, classic times. I'm best known for being the first Division I basketball player to play ball with a disability. I pretty much just railed guys with my half arm. Post basketball career, I was blessed with the opportunity to travel the world to elevate and inspire others as a motivational speaker, becoming one of the top youth speakers in the United States, which is why all of our youth are doing so well. Then COVID hit, and like many, my world stopped. We are um, asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the expectation that this could be bad. So I quarantined with my wife, had a baby, and lost my goddamn mind. This is my journey to catch them all. It all started on a down day. I was feeling in need of massive transformable inspiration. Before I knew it, I was hypnotized by the world sensation Gary Vee preaching hustle. There's a ton of opportunity in opportunity zones in New Jersey, like Patterson and Newark. I think there's opportunities everywhere. I think there's opportunity, by the way, maybe, do you like Pokemon? I love Pokemon. I haven't played in a while, but I love it. Well, bro, that's your answer. Pokemon cards are outpacing sports cards. Get all in on Pokemon. Whatever you say, Gary V. <sighs> it was settled. I was ready to take on my uncompleted childhood dream to catch all the original Pokemon cards, then flip them to make a killing. What's a Pokemon, you ask? Pokemon is a Japanese media franchise created by Satoshi Dajiri in 1995. Pokemon, which means humans, known as Pokemon trainers, catch and train to battle each other for sport. Most Pokemon have the ability, after being trained, to evolve into stronger Pokemon. Ash, Slaker evolved! Yeah, isn't it awesome? Completely too nerdy for you? No! I think they're talking about us. No way. Oh no! Nerds! 
Well, the franchise is the highest grossing media franchise of all time, grossing $90 billion in revenue. The original video game series is the second best-selling video game franchise behind Nintendo's Mario, with more than 368 million copies sold. Remember hearing about a bunch of idiots in 2016 standing in the ocean waiting to catch something other than hypothermia? That's what this is. Today, there are around 898 Pokemon in existence, but the only ones that really matter are the original 150. Still think this is ridiculous? Well, the franchise has sold over 30 billion cards and counting. In 1999, the franchise launched the Wizards of the Coast trading cards in the USA. I was just a young one-armed kid at the time, just out there doing it. When I wasn't out on the playground pretending I was a golden god and smacking it with those honeys, I was hustling to make bread. But then I found out about Pokemon cards. Blew all my money on that instead. My mama found my extensive Pokemon collection. Explained to me that they were forbidden because evolution was evil and not God's work. It's the devil! She made me throw them all away. Now I'm 30, my mom's dead, and I'm ready to once again start my Pokemon journey. My plan, and hear me out, is to collect the fossil jungle and base set collections, add them together, make one super crazy mega collection, and then I can sell it and make a massive profit. That is how I'm choosing to spend my time in COVID. Fossil consisting of 62 cards, jungle consisting of 64 cards, and base consisting of 102 cards, 228 cards in total. My plan is to obtain only first editions to maximize profit and make sure all the cards are mint or gem mint shape. The biggest catch? I need to do it without my wife finding out. She will literally fucking kill me. What are you doing? Brooke, it's for social media. Everybody's doing it. What? We got cameras for social media, Brooke. Everyone's doing it. Wait, what is going on? Just social media. This is why you were making I need to up my numbers here, okay? Social media. She'll never question the cameras now. Like my mother? I need to dodge her on this Pokemon journey. Fortunately, when COVID-19 hit, the stock market crashed. This natural born hustler threw all his money into stocks. With a massive return, I had carved out $45,000 to jumpstart my mission. If you're still watching, you're probably stricken by a cringeworthy smile. You're welcome. Things I do for you. Imagine watching another hour of this. Pretty great. All you gotta do is go on Golden Auctions, bid on lot 139, 156, and 157. With inflation on the rise, it's justifiable to invest in collectibles to protect your money. But what you're really doing is you're saving a marriage and saving my life potentially, and I like my life. So it's up to you. I'm completely depending on you to spend $1 million. One mil you won't. You won't do it. You won't spend a million dollars. You won't do it. I'll make you a deal. If I get over 300K off the base collection, then you, the winner, can be in the documentary and I'll fly you out, rent a movie theater to show all my friends and family the documentary because no one has any context of any of this. So you get to be there. I'll give you a hug even. And thank you. Thank you tremendously. 139, 156, 157. Shameless plug for my awesome Pokemon collection. Please buy it. The auction goes on to September 18th. I'm so, so very desperate. Thank you.